Hello guys, Glassic here, back with FMI Chris Bilara, and today we're going to be doing the Temple of Puna. <laughs> I don't even know how that's supposed to be pronounced properly. I don't... Puna? Puna? Yeah, I sometimes... I say Puna, but... You say what? Puna. Yeah, sometimes I say Puna, sometimes I say Puna, but... I don't know, it really depends how I feel. Fair enough. But, uh, yay, we're doing the Temple of Puna today. The Puna. Is this the one that's, like, just riddled with traps? Um, there's like four traps. Yeah, four. You got the like the blades, and oh god, then you got the um, you got the uh the spike roof coming down on you, like in Temple of uh. Oh yeah. Pan. And then there's there's boulders as well as. And there? then yeah, straight after that you got two boulders. I swear to God, I used to fail so much at the rolling blades. Oh god, yeah, they're easy. As long as you like jump over them, they should be fine. But yeah, I, I do fail. Like I bet you, I will die here. But that's this way I'm gonna save. Like now. But th yeah. Then you got the guys who keep trying to blow darts into your head. Oh yeah, I just like slaughtered like ten of them. <laughs> nice. I think one dart that's hit me in the boob before. How can you be sure? I don't know. I swear I like saw it like flying towards Lara's boob boob area. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe they were trying to prick it to drain it of all its milk. <laughs> Ew, Lee, that's disgusting. It's not disgusting. It's human nature. That's I what. The, See, that's I what died. The are for. <laughs> I just died. Oh, fail. Win. See, it's quite a short level, so there's no mu not much point in saving really. Mm, well, I did save because I normally found. No point in saving like after every little bit, though. Oh no, I save like if you're really confident in this level, you can save once, and I suggest saving before you do the final boss, unless you're using the Desert Eagle, <laughs> which I'm not, obviously. I know. I think for for the boss in this level, Uzis and the Desert Eagle are the, the quickest and easiest way to do um, it. Um, the MP5 isn't that bad either, or whatever it's called. But you can't, the trouble is you can't move around with that. Um, you can side jump though. You can, but it's still limited. I, that's what I love about the Desert Eagle. It's really powerful and it doesn't take too many shots to kill things. But oh, it's she's... completely maneuverable. Okay, come on, Blades. Lee, I swear you're being very sexual today. I'm always sexual. Ew! Lee! Uh... Oh god. You sickened me. Well, well, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mummy FML Crispy Lara today, by the way? Mummy FML Crispy Lara? Yeah. She's away for the weekend. Is she? Yeah. Oh, where is she? What, you mean my mum? Yeah. Yeah, she's gone away for the weekend at a game. At... Yeah, a game fair. A game fair? What do you mean by that? Like, um, game is any animal that you can shoot or hunt. Oh, like a game, like game, as in like birds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> yes, Leo. It's nice to know that your uh, mum is killing um, innocent. So she's... <laughs> Good job. With, there's no vegetarians here. <laughs> Dude, look. Other animals kill other animals to eat. Exactly. Our, te our teeth are biologically designed to process meat and vegetables. All right, love. Well, what do you want to be a dentist or something? Well, no, but it's true. Our, our teeth are designed for an omnivore. We're supposed to eat everything. Mm. See, I'm not a vegetarian, but I could be a vegetarian. I really could. I couldn't because bacon's too good. See, I don't. People always like, oh my god, bacon, bacon. I think it's just become really stereotypical now. No, 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 just right, bacon is no. fucking awesome. It's, it's alright, it's nothing special. Like, How I, dare you? I can live without... How dare you say that bacon is nothing special? It's alright, it's nothing... Like, smoked bacon, that's where the good shit is. It is. Smoked bacon's good. Mm. I just died again, Lee, by the way. <laughs> bacon, <sighs> Lara. Smoked bacon, Lara. Oh god, yeah. Mm, I would eat Lara. Uh, <laughs> what? You're telling me if she wasn't smoked bacon, you wouldn't eat her? No, it it just 
There's two meanings to eating someone. Ew, Lee, stop it. <laughs> what? It, I'm not even doing anything. You're just being like really sexual today. To be fair, this is me, and to be fair, Lara Croft is rather hot. Ew. I'm just saying. Can you imagine like a chocolate Lara? Oh my god, I'm going to Google that. I wish. Maybe someone's made like a novelty chocolate Lara. <laughs> you know, you can get like the chocolate snowmen at Christmas. Mm, yeah. Oh my god, chocolate Lara Croft. That'd be... they, they, oh my god, I forgot they did actually make a Tomb Raider chocolate bar. Did they? Did they really? Yeah. Where it's they... not in the shape of Lara, but there is a Tomb Raider chocolate bar. So what's not on... anymore, but. What's on it like? What's on the chocolate bar? Um, I'll just have a look. I I'd actually completely forgotten there was. I completely forgot about Lara's LucasAid adverts. <laughs> oh god, yeah. I actually like as a child, like I was like, oh my god, Lara. Like I love Lara Croft. Like I, w I did not play Tomb Raider when I was younger, because Tomb Raider one just scared me. But whenever I saw Lara, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, there's several Tomb Raider chocolate bars. I'm actually looking on the Tomb Raider, the wiki thing now. Mm. Two made of chocolate bars. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. There's the peanut butter expedition, the chocolate adventure, the caramel quest, and the crispy chocolate escape. Oh my god! I'm gonna go on Amazon. I'm gonna order a big box of them. Pardon? I'm gonna go on Amazon and order a big box of them. Oh my god, yeah. But uh, it wasn't as popular as the sponsorship of LucasAid, but no. Um, I don't know if you have them. I don't know if if I don't know if they're like a big shop company. But um, near me, I have a Ross Records. Do you have you ever heard of that before? You have a what? A Ross Records. No. It's like a second-hand game shop, um, and they sell games off like really, really cheap. Um, like the second-hand, some are new. But there's like they have two statues of Lara, and when I was a young child, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, they have statues of Lara, and I used to get so excited. As a kid, I used to have one. I had, I have, a, there's a bastard in my family who actually took it away, but, um, I had a big, not life-size, but it was the size of me when I was a kid. Oh, this is, the, these have two life-size, life-sizes of Lara, like a statue. Yeah, oh. they are pretty much life-size, mine was. was yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so them, uh, they're at, like, the shop, and I have four figurines of Lara in my room. I have one in London with her, like, catsuit thingy on. Was one in South Pacific, with uh, next to a crocodile, um, wearing her costume, obviously. Um, the London one comes with like a dog. Um, I have this one's really confuses me. I have one with her Tibetan jacket on, on yeah. her motorbike in a street. Oh, that doesn't make sense, but oh well. Um, and then I have one with her wetsuit yeah. on, one of with her Tomb Raider wetsuit on. Ooh, kinky. See, I will actually. I would actually love those kind of things, but as much as I love Tomb Raider, I just don't have the money to be spending collecting things like that. Oh no, I'm my figurines. I have th I have three figurines. Three of them were bu um, bought from from my auntie. My auntie bought for them for me, and then this, the wetsuit one I found at a car boot. I think it cost me like five pound or something. That's alright. Whenever I go to a car boot, I always find like Tomb Raider related things. I don't know why. Yeah, but I bet the demand for them will go up now with the new game. Mm, I don't know. I'm not quite well, sure. I think I think there will be a lot of people that haven't played the original games. Yeah, definitely. And so they probably might want to go back and look at its roots. Yeah. But I'm going to be pissed off because people... I, I bet it's going to become like a hipster thing. People are going to be like... You know, oh, I've loved Tomb Raider from the beginning, when in reality they've just played the new fucking game. Oh god, yeah, don't even, don't even start with that, Lee. I know that's gonna happen. I know, and people are just... And but the trouble is, I am a genuine, hardcore Tomb Raider fan from the beginning, from the first game, from when I was a kid. Yeah. So at least I have proof in terms of, like, oh, you don't believe me? Well, look at my YouTube channel. Yeah, see, like, I did have Tomb Raider because my dad, my dad used to make me sit with him, like, obviously I was a baby so I can't really remember, I didn't you understand, but he sat me on his lap while he used to play Tomb Raider on the old PS1, and one Christmas he bought me a PS1 and a, Tomb a copy of Tomb Raider, but I never played it because I was just so scared, it scared me so much. Oh my much. god, it's the same thing, I actually started the same way that Stella did, in the sense that my dad was playing it. 
But there's this one bit in Palace Midas, I believe. Wait, to get the iron... Is it iron? No, lead bar. You have to ju jump across the flaming pillars. Yeah. And my dad could never do it. And I used to sit and watch him for hours, failing at that one bit. Mm. And then I managed to do it one day. And he was just like, Lee, you're like four or five years old. How'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> but the, I never played it as well. I used to play through um, Lara's Home quite a lot. But the music in the game scared me so much. I just couldn't play it. Yeah. I always had to have my dad sit next to me because every time like music came on, even from like bats, I was like, oh my god, dad, what's happening? What's happening? And exactly. I was like so upset. <laughs> me too. But then the trouble is in the original Tomb Raider, when the danger's gone, the music doesn't stop for ages. Yeah, I know. So you're like, wait, I thought that was it. What's going on? But uh, yeah, fun story time with uh, Glad Six and uh, my Chris <laughs> But that's the end of Temple of Purna, guys. That took me six minutes, 35 seconds, zero secrets, 10 kills, 810 ammo used, 782 hits, one medipack used, 893 meters traveled. So uh, thank you so much for joining me with South Pacific, Lee. That's all right. I'm always happy to like join in with other people's videos. I know, we love co comic Lee, seriously. But uh, yeah, that's the end, guys. And I will be seeing you um, on Friday for. Um, I'll be seeing you for the start of Nevada. So uh, yeah, look forward to that on Friday. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I can't upload during the week because of college. I'm just so busy. But um, yeah, Friday, definitely. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching, guys. And yeah, bye bye. <laughs> Bye.